Hello and welcome to the May TCL Teen Bake Along. My name is Marilyn, your teen librarian, and this month we are going to be making birthday cake puppy chow. Uh, I'm not sure if we still call it puppy chow. That's where we call it, what we called it in Kansas anyway. It's possible it's known as something else up here. It seems like we mostly call it Muddy Buddies now, but Muddy Buddies is mostly peanut butter and chocolate, and this does not actually have peanut butter in it. Um, but it is birthday cake because May is my birthday month, so I thought I'd, we'd make something with a little bit of a birthday cake theme. <laughs> so everybody tie on your aprons and let's get started. So here are all the tools and ingredients that you'll need. The only extras you'll need to provide will be a big bowl to put your cereal in. That's where we'll do some of the mixing with the chocolate. A microwave safe vessel. So a bowl, a mug, or a glass measuring cup if you have it. Just anything that's big enough to fit the three quarter cups of white chocolate chips. A spoon, and you can provide a rubber spatula if you like. Uh, we'll need it to mix up the cereal and the chocolate in just a little bit. But you can also just use a spoon. Really anything that, that is good for you for stirring those together. Uh, so now we've got everything gathered, let's get on to the making. All right, first thing, you're gonna take your chocolate, pour it into your microwave safe vessel. And this will not take long, but we're gonna start with uh, 30 seconds because we don't wanna do it too fast or else we can burn the chocolate. It seems like it would be hard to do in a microwave, but it is entirely possible. So do that 30 seconds. And after that first 30 seconds, just give it a stir. You should already notice, uh, you can probably see it here too, it already is getting some good melty. It should only take one more ah, 30 second heating session. So give that 30 more seconds. All right, give it, a, ooh, yep, I can already feel it's hot. There we go, you should be able to see nice and smooth. So just give that a stir until there are no more lumps. Okay, now that we've got our chocolate, Pour that on into our cereal. And this is where a rubber spatula does come in handy. To wipe any of that extra chocolate off. So you can get everything in there. Perfect. And then just stir it on up. Now it won't get perfectly, completely covered, but that's okay. You just want most of it. You don't want to see a ton of dry cereal. As long as it all has at least a little bit of chocolate sticking to it, then you're good. There we go. Yeah, but as you, yeah, you can already see it does not take long. Like the sriracha caramel corn, this isn't temperamental, obviously, but it's one where you kind of just work kind of quickly. Okay. Once that's all stirred up, if you can see it right there. Yeah, so it's mostly covered. You see there's some dry bits, but it's covered enough. No need to stress. Just getting some of that extra cereal off. Save all that goodness. All right. Now, it might be helpful to get a friend help you pour this into the bowl or bag, but you can still get it. Ah. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Come on. Never mind. There we go. Okay. Almost. Just getting those little extra bits off. Okay, add in your powdered sugar and your sprinkles. Seal the bag up. Make sure there's air in there, you're gonna want that. Have that empty space and shake it. And this part's the fun part. There we go, yeah, if you can take a look. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm, woo! And there you have it. Birthday cake puppy chow. We got sprinkles, 
We got white chocolate, we got powdered sugar. You can take the oh, well, of course we won't get the uh, Hey, there we go. That's just cool. Oh man. You know what? This was so easy. Almost too easy. And it's we can make that flavor with birthday cake. I bet that you could substitute just about any other spice flavor for that, uh, for those sprinkles, huh? Hmm. Welcome to a bake along bonus. So, the neat thing about making puppy chow, muddy buddies, whatever you call it, is if you have of the base ingredients, you can make like just about anything. This one, obviously, we're making with white chocolate. But if you've got Let's see if you've got cinnamon, if you've got coriander, turmeric. I, I, I don't know if these would actually be good. I'm just naming uh, random spices that I can think of. Uh, curry, maybe. If you wanted to make, like, say, a uh, Mexican hot chocolate Muddy Buddies, you could do, like, a dark chocolate and then, um, along with the powdered sugar, sprinkle in some cayenne pepper. Which, if you've never heard of that, Mexican hot chocolate, look it up. It is absolutely delicious. All right. So I'm making something a little different. Powdered sugar. And this is a chai, oh, a chai spice that I've made, which I might show you how to do that. It's a little more complex because you get a bunch of whole spices and grind them all up. But same thing, powdered sugar, and then whatever dry spice you want, and shake it on up. Ooh, it already looks good. Oh, that's nice. It smells like a chai latte. You can see, ooh, there we go. You can kind of see all those little spices on there. Mm-hmm. That's pretty darn good. So if the first one tasted like birthday cake, that one obviously tastes like a chai latte, which to me tastes like fall. And let me tell you, even though it's only, uh, well, it's April as I'm filming, it'll be May, obviously, when these kits go out. Uh, even though it's our only May, I'm ready for fall. <laughs> so that's it for the May Bake Along with our birthday cake puppy chow and then our bonus chai latte puppy chow. Uh, I hope you can give this a try. Maybe find a way to make it your own. Um, if you do, let us know. This is super easy and fun to make, and it's really a great way to... Uh, Flex some creativity on a recipe. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Share it uh, with your family. Share it with your friends. Maybe uh, serve it alongside that sriracha caramel corn that we made last month. And we will see you in the next one.